There's a person in need of blood every few seconds, and one in three Americans will need a transfusion at some point in their life. This month is Blood Donation Month, and there's a need here on the First Coast. A Jacksonville man has been doing his part for 53 years, and tonight our Alex Ositis is on your side with a powerful story about giving. I'm scheduled for the next three months. It's a Friday routine for Courtney Holman. He's in the chair donating blood or platelets every other week, something he started over half a century ago. The 75-year-old Holman says his dad was a five-gallon donor who inspired him to help. 775 visits later, Holman's given 117 gallons of himself to save others. And now it's a pastime he shares with so many more. In fact, at church, I got about three or four guys. It's, uh, where are you at now? And I tell them, they go, all right, okay, well, I'm ahead of you. So it's a game with them because we all know who donates. But he takes it seriously. One round of donations he helped make in the late spring of 2016 was critical in saving victims of the Pulse nightclub shooting. Holman would later go on to meet the people he helped. That was really something to know you'd actually help somebody, to see somebody you'd helped. That kind of got to me. January is Blood Donation Month, a time to recognize those who give on the regular basis, but aims to recruit more, ensuring that when there's a need, it's here. In an instant, any one of us can find ourselves on the receiving end of a blood transfusion, and it's about the donors who came in just days before a person needing a transfusion. Forbes says the post-holiday season typically leaves blood banks in a shorter supply, and with someone in need every few seconds, it's people like Holman and regular donors making a big difference. I just know I do it. I'm, I'm glad I can do it. The Lord's blessed me with being able to do that. Reporting, Alex Ositis, First Coast News, on your side.